don't even have anywhere to go. What if I grab him there? I'm not made for this type of activity. Got him. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, guys, now good morning. This episode is going to be called Mud Crabs in the Morning because this is the first time I've ever gone mud crabbing in the morning. I'm back out here with Eden again and we've just got off to a ripper start. Eden's just come up with a nice mud crab in there to kick us off at 6am. We're walking the flats on a low tide and now we've just come across our second one after about 10 minutes of being here. So she's going to do the honour of getting this one out of its hole. So in your own time. We've got one just inside of these reeds here. So I've definitely seen this crab in here. I think this might be one for you. Pretty much what we're just trying to do is just work it out with the hook. Just a simple hook end like that. In underneath those roots there. It actually goes pretty far back. Okay, we're gonna switch it up now. There is 100% a good mud crab in there because I saw it just before walked up, prodded underneath this. This is what we're looking for. Just these trees that sort of bank onto these water holes here. You come poke on the edges of them and you find crabs like this one. Alright, here he is. I just gotta hook him to get him out. My biggest problem at the moment is I got very poor visibility. Right. So he's gonna come any minute. He's a solid crab. Definitely a solid crab. Oh yeah, he's a solid crab. <laughs> oh yes, definitely a solid crab. He's gonna probably come flying out. Don't tell me that. All right, we're getting him slowly. Very solid crab. generally tell just by the way it clicks and clacks and then the way they fight back on the end of your rod. Just got to get the hook to get behind him. So my biggest issue is just that I can't see through this water at the minute. So I've just straightened the hook out to be a bit more of an L shape. Hopefully get behind the crab a bit better. It's definitely a solid crab. Alright, oh, go on. Go on. Where is this dog? Have you got it? I'll cry if it comes flying out. <laughs> it won't come flying out, but he's definitely a solid crab. Oh, he's big. At least he sounds solid. Don't talk it up. No. Oh, God, there's one under my foot! <laughs> what? what? There was one under my foot! <laughs> oh my God, little one, look! Oh. <laughs> Where? Oh. I'm only in sandals, <laughs> and then while I've been trying to get this muddy out, this little one has just walked straight over my foot. How little? It's only like this big, but it's enough to grab oh the toe. Oh my gosh, you scared me. It's look at this little one. I'm not coming over there now. Look. Oh yeah. <sighs> get it, <laughs> flick it out. These little ones are probably more ferocious, if anything. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, perfect. Oh, my God. I need to get this one out of here. Almost just lost a toe. Oh, PB or what? They're so hard to grab them in this little. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so while trying to wrangle that other crab out, this one literally just walked across my toe and scared the heebie-jeebies out of me. So. Because I am, quite literally, just wearing socks and sandals inside these mud holes. This one can retire over here. Fuck, that scared me. <laughs> scared me. I was just chilling like this and I was like, why can't I <laughs> Ooh, this is a deep hole. I'm paranoid now. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a good feeling when they're that size. They're fighting back. Come on. This crab is playing it very well defensively. I shouldn't have fucked, I should have just grabbed it out when I saw it. So I had him. All right, I've been prodding this hole for about a good 10, 15 minutes now. And I think I've lost the battle on this mud crab for the moment. Because I've been poking around in here, the visibility is stirred right up in the water. And I can't seem to find the crab, so I'm gonna call it quits on this one for for now, I'm going to mark it with some branches and leaves and then we'll come back to this one on the way back to the car and see if we can find him once the water clears back up again and he hopefully comes out from hiding. So there's another small mud crab there. This one's probably just on size or just under size. But we'll let him go and we'll keep looking for the big ones. So I think this area that we're in today, although it's pretty remote and out of the way, we found that many good holes, perfect examples of them like this one today. I don't know if it's because we're going mud crabbing in the morning or if someone has already been through here recently and had their way with them. But like a hole like this, normally would always nest a good one. I'm pretty happy to say there's not one in there, so we'll keep looking. We're gonna keep walking along through the mangroves here for a little bit longer till we get sick of it, and then we're gonna come back across the flats while the tide's still out. And we sort of got a timer to get out of here by lunchtime, so sort of a four or five hour session to make sure that we beat the high tide rise and can actually get back through the tracks to get back to town. Okay guys, we're back on again. I've just come over to this hole here, stuck my hook down and I've definitely got the back of a crab, but the hard thing with mud crabbing on flats like these is you gotta pull the crab up, obviously against gravity, against water. All of that makes it really quite difficult. So they're quite good at escaping off of your hook. Might be a case of getting a second hook down there. All right, so he's, yeah, he's nice loud crab, which is always a good sign. Now just on this note, getting one of these mud crabs out of a hole like this can take anywhere as long as, say, 15 minutes sometimes. Obviously we're gonna break that down into a much shorter clip. So I'm gonna wrangle this guy out, just doing exactly what I'm doing. Here he comes. Good crab, very good crab. Fuck 
fucking horse. Oh, hey! That's fat. That's only got one claw. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, so we got another one there, but yeah, unfortunately this is just another single claw crab, so we've got two good sized muddies now. As you can see, that's a good claw. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm getting absolutely swarmed by flies right now, which I'm sure you guys can probably see, possibly hear. But we've just switched it up, as you can see behind me, we're back out on the flats now. So we started on the mangroves, we've walked out onto the flats to head back to the ute, and then Eden's just spotted a nice muddy over here. So, she's gonna grab this one, and the good news is, is this one's actually got two claws on it which we haven't had that all morning. So we've got two big muddies at the moment, but only two claws and they pack most of the meat. So all her now. He's a good crab. You just pin him down with the rod and get him away from that hole. Whee. Biggest thing is that he can't just swing his angle on you all of a sudden. Or you hook him, just bring him, switch the hook around to the other side. And then drag him, drag him up onto the uh, onto the weed bed. That's it. Keep, keep going. Or even straight to the bag. How's that? Go, 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 go. There we go. Swift. Yeah. <laughs> Winner. So with even grabbing that last mud crab there, that takes us up to three big muddies now, and. Uh, we're making our way back to the car right now. You can't see it really clear behind me right now, but just over there is the rising tide line. It's making its way back in, so we're sort of just moving in front of it by a couple of hundred meters right now. We're gonna make our way back to the car through the creek and see if we can't find one more big mud crab to really feed the family. Ew, ew, ew. I think I just swallowed that. Ew. Oh my god. Okay, as you can see there, we've ended up with four crabs to finish off our day. I think it's somewhere around 10 o'clock in the morning now. We got out here at six o'clock at the peak of the low tide, or the valley I should say. Yeah, we got three real good sized crabs in there and then one that's just over legal, but we're trying to feed three to four of us. So we're pretty happy with that. We're gonna do a nice chili crab. As you can see, I'm just getting swarmed by flies and Eden's much the same behind the camera. So we're going to get out of here before the tide comes up too much and head on home, but just another short, sweet one today and um, yeah, great success in finding some mud crabs in the morning.